as you are, Death Wielder. I should have known you were responsible for this evilness. <laughs> You're right. You should have known. Yeah, How long has it been? 104 years, Falgaris. You've had 104 years to prepare, yet still I return to a war? <sighs> Where are the enchanters? We're not sure. They're all around this house, and Stuart Kaltara had hit the Earth Enchanter, but we- You do not have them? No, sir. But we may know where the Earth Enchanter is. You may know only where the Earth Enchanter is. Have you at least prevented the Nebula Knights' return? No Nebula Knights have appeared since the Great War have ended. However, we were not able to get any of the eggs and their weapons. And what about Kaljar? We heard you killed him before coming over here. Hmm. <laughs> Finally, some good news. Come on. We have a lot of work to do, and not a moment to waste. Good job, Caleb. Very, very good. Whoa! But not good enough though, Ben. It's okay. With time and training, I'll train you just as my dad did. Now, come on. On your sergeant cups.
Uh, hey Ben, can we stop exploring for a sec? Uh, sure, what's going on? So when will you teach me how to use the air enchanter? Hmm, well, I'm not really sure how to use another enchanter myself. I only enchanted my shield, and I'm not sure you're ready to wield an enchanter. But we began training four months ago. The Anars and the monsters could attack anytime soon, and I need my enchanter. Hmm, okay, that's enough sparring for now. For now, just practice your swinging. We'll try to train again tomorrow. Um, Ben, I don't know if we're gonna train it tomorrow, or spar, because I promised the merchant I'd bring back this sword, and I borrowed it four months ago. So I need to bring this back, and also I have to do something myself. Okay, I heard the rumors about this girl that had an egg that hatched, and it had a baby dragon inside, but I really wanted to meet this girl and ask some questions. And hmm, aha, and I have just the person for that, or animal. Is this really the only stuff you stole? Um, yep, yeah, pretty much. A bottle full of gold, a giant rock with a bunch of crystals, and an enchanter. An enchanter? Did you steal that from an Iderian? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Where else would I steal it? <laughs> Never mind. Well, quit sitting around with a dumb look on your face and just go back and steal some more. This is not enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jacob? I'm beginning to grow tired of this trouble you've been causing us, girl. Oh please, I'm just getting started. You haven't seen my real rat yet. You're out of your mind if you think you can take us down. I've been told that so many times, but I'm not gonna stop until the Deathful Legion is gone. Some call us the Deathful Legion, but most call us the Dreadful League. And I prefer the Dreadful League because it sounds more sick. Anyway, the Dreadful League always works together. Unlike you, you work alone. That's where you're wrong, Lieutenant. I'm never alone. Hmm, <laughs> one little girl and one dragon versus the Dreadful League. Differences? I don't care if my side lives or dies. Uh, yeah, that's the same with pretty much every bad guy I've ever dealt with. Give it up, girl. There's no way you can take down both of us. You're a really good fighter, girl, but let's see how you do against me. Saturn, stay right there and don't do anything. He's mine. Too easy. You need to work on your reflexes. Now you die. God! And you need to expect the unexpected. And also your reflexes. You killed my parents. For them, they will have justice from the Dreadful League. But I still like to call you Deathful Legion. Gee, at first I thought criminals only wear eye patches to make themselves look scary and cool. But that guy actually did lose an eye. That's a first. Hey Saturn, you've been a good boy today, although I'm not sure if we're done with the Deathful Legion yet, or Dreadful League, I don't know, they have two awesome names, it's hard to pick which one's better. But don't you worry.
The kingdoms are too valuable to fall into the cups of the dead master. We need to stop and kill all the undead before they start corrupting all the kingdoms. Yeah, and speaking about the dead master, where is he? Ugh, the coward. He probably just ran off that way he could find more zombies and succeed with his plans, but we need to find him. Is she going to leave from every battle? Melissa, where are you going? I saw the dead master running over there. He's using his eyes to control the undead. If I can find him and blind him, hmm, then he won't be able to control his zombies. Pretty smart idea, Melissa. And what if your plan fails? What then? He'll just kill you. We need to do this together, that way we can take down the dead master as a team, and that way he'll be outnumbered. I have to try, Cyber. This is for my parents. Wish me luck, you two. And by the way, this isn't your fight. Good luck. <sighs> my sister better not mess this up for us, Lucas. Oh, come on, Cyber. Give your sister some credit for her plans and her bravery. Give her some credit? Give her some credit? If anything, she should give me credit. I'm the captain, and I should be fighting monsters. But no, I'm helping my own little adopted sister with her dead master issue just because her parents were killed by them. If anything, she should be doing this by herself. You hurt her. This is her fight. Not mine, and not yours. So you shouldn't be here, and I shouldn't be here either. She's still the same stubborn little sister blonde out of all of us. Come on, to crown Zalta, let's go. Everybody, come on! Clickbot! Oh, run! I don't have any intention of hurting you guys. I gotta fix this, but how? Psst, hey, over here. So, I see you're having a little public issue with Stigbots since they're scared of Clickbots. Yes, I need a lot more information on why this is happening. I mean, I just want Clickbots to live in peace for a change without having to get a bottle thrown in their head, you know? Information, huh? Well, you're in luck. I happen to be the Stickbot you're looking for. I myself may be scared of Clickbots, but I later learned that not all of them are so horrible. Like you, for instance. You haven't even attacked me yet. That just goes to show. Since then, I've been studying Clickbots, and now I just want to learn more about them. I even read y'all history on the walls of time. And I could see a lot, so I ask you to follow me. Have a seat. Why are you willing to help me? I mean, I can't give you anything in return. Oh, I don't care about the return stuff. I'm a really curious stickbot, and since I'm so curious about clickbots as well, such as you, I'd like to know your name. My name is Tommy, so what's yours? My name is Percy, and as you know it, I study clickbots. So here we go anyway. There was a time when Clickbots and Stickbots used to live in harmony a hundred years ago, but then something horrible happened, such as a villainous Clickbot named Krogan. Krogan, the most ruthless Clickbot of them all, and wherever he goes, death follows. He killed the first Clickbot king there ever was, and then he took his place, and only did just cause mass carnage and motivated a bunch of Clickbots to cause evilness. But thankfully, the Nebula Knights were able to stop the Clickbots and Krogan his dirty schemes. Although, sadly for the Nebula Knights, it's that they hated that they had to hurt and kill their own kind to cause peace with Nideria and to stop Krogan's dirty schemes. But Krogan is still out there, and he's still hurting others with his minions that'll help him. And we've been scared of Clickbots ever since that day. So the kingdoms had to banish Clickbots from Nideria, and they did. Although you're here, and others are so angry at Clickbots. I know. I want to talk to Krogan, and maybe stop him once and for all. I just want Clickbots to live in harmony and peace once again. So maybe I've been wondering if you can help me get to the Clickbot Kingdom. Whoa, whoa, okay Tommy, let's not get carried away. That is a, too much of a far stretch right there. If Krogan sees me, he will beat me to a bloody pulp. Not as long as I'll be there to protect you. And besides, we don't have any other option. If we don't do something, this will be the end of Clickbot's harmony and peace. And besides, you want to learn more about Clickbot's, so this is your chance if we confront Krogan. 
Okay, I got two things to say. One, you are the dumbest and yet the bravest clickbot I have ever met, and I respect why you're doing this. Two, yes, I want to learn more about clickbots, and I'm pretty sure confronting Krogan can do it. So, pretty much, I'll do this with you, but don't blame me if we get killed. Deal? Deal. Um, Saturn, can we talk for a sec? Look, I appreciate all the help you're doing for me for the dreadful week, but now I'm worried about you. There hasn't been a dragon in generations, and now they know. So I'm pretty sure they might be coming after you now, or a bunch of others in Nigeria. I mean, I've raised and cared for you for four months, and I don't want to lose you just like I lost- <sighs> What? Okay, maybe you're worried about me. I can get that since I don't have wings and breathe fire and not scary, but still, I'm still worried about you though. Because I don't want to have to lose you as well. <clears throat> hey, where do you think you're going? <sighs> Dragons these days. How did I end up with such a stubborn, misbehaved dragon? Um, hey, chicken. Hey there! Whoa! What in the world? A, a talking chicken? Am I tripping or something? Am I dreaming or hallucinating? There's no way on earth I'm talking to a chicken. There's no way. Well, you are, madam. My whole family can talk. Can other animals talk? Uh, can my dragon talk? No, miss. Not every single animal in Nigeria can talk, you know. That'd be pretty crazy, and we just have someone to talk to for the rest of our lives, you know? Anyway, is your name Heather? Yeah, that's my name. Good. I found the right person, because I have something to tell you, and what I want to tell you is that... Saturn, stop doing that! Don't worry about Saturn, he won't eat you. He better not. <laughs> anyway, I don't have much time, because I don't really don't want to be here at night time, so I have a message that I need to be sending to you from a stickbot named Caleb. So anyway, my time is valuable, and thus I'm only gonna say this once, so listen carefully. Caleb, can I talk to you for a sec? Um, sure. What's going on, Ben? There's something I need to tell you about enchanters and me. I don't think I can tell you and show you how to wield your air enchanter. What? Why? Because I only enchanted my shield. I've never enchanted a sword before, and I think it's very different to enchant different kinds of weapons. And also, my dad hates enchanters. He doesn't think we need them. Enchanters give us power, but they also take from us in return, and kind of ruin our lives. In most ways, we do not see. Maybe I can find someone that can teach me so I can show you. But Ben, no no no, don't you say it, just because my dad is dead doesn't mean I can wield enchanters without him knowing. And besides, I still respect his wishes and orders. Although, now might be a good time to wield enchanters because there's already going to be a second great war, since he's not here, I don't know. When he found out that I had the Earth Enchanter, he got really upset, so he hid it from the Anaris clan. And I'm not sure where he hid it, so... I don't know. Okay, first of all, I wasn't gonna say that. And second, I was gonna say that... There's no need to worry, Ben, because I've been friends with this girl for a very long time, and she knows a lot more about Enchanters than I do. Even me reading the Enchanters books, she still knows a lot more. So maybe tomorrow morning I can show you to her where she lives and where she is now and she can tell you and teach you so much that I can't. Besides, you're gonna need to know a lot more about Enchantress than I do and I haven't seen her in a while so she never really got a chance to teach me anything. Well, I guess that could work. You! Wow, you came all this way here for me, and you even remember me after all these years. I'm flattered. You're going to pay for what you did to my family, Deadmaster! Just relax, beautiful. I'll put you out of your misery. Trust me. Huh? <laughs> 
Did you really think I can only mind control zombies? I can mind control anyone I want in Nigeria, especially Melanus like you. You'll work for me now, and everyone will meet the same fate as you when we're done. I will find your family, and I will find your friend, and we'll kill everyone in the kingdoms. And I will rule all of Nigeria like no one else can do. <laughs> Finally, after all this walking, I think I finally found where I could get my training for the enchanters. Huh, weird, there's no one there. Hello? Um, anyone there? I was told to come over here for my training on how to wield enchanters. Weird. Huh? Whoa, what kind of enchanters are these? I've never seen these kind of enchanters before. Hmm. Huh? Well, hello there, Ben. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. My name is Dalkus Sidera, and today I'll be your teacher on enchanters and how to wield them. Um, hi, Valka. So, you know my name? Of course I know your name, Ben. Every Nigerian in Nigeria knows the last Kaltara. You had wings? How did you get them? There is a random Ultra Enchanter that I have that made me have the ability to have wings. There are so many Ultra Enchanters out there, such as the ones that are right next to us. I have Shield, Water, Wing, and Light Ultra Enchanters. Every single Ultra Enchanter is more powerful than four different types of Enchanters combined. That makes them more dangerous than the wrong hands or suction cups. That's why we barely even wield those Enchanters. And I heard you enchanted your Shield with the Earth Enchanter. Show me it. Now, trying to enchant yourself with Ultra Enchanters can be very, very hard and extremely rough. I know. I never even wielded more than one Enchanter before. And that's perfectly fine, Ben. There's a first time in everything, you know? I myself may be a young Nigerian female, and I may not be old enough to wield Ultra Enchanters, and you aren't either. But I shouldn't let that stop us, because I now wielded four Ultra Enchanters now, and now I'm very powerful, and I want you to be just as powerful as I am. Now, look at these Enchanters. Each Ultra Enchanter is very unstable and dangerous for you to try to enchant all by yourself. That's why I'm going to make you enchant the least unstable out of them all. Here, try to enchant your shield with this water Ultra Enchanter. Um, sure, okay. What the? Ugh, oh, I have a serious headache. Uh, Caleb, is that you? Ben, you're okay! What happened? You passed out trying to enchant your chill with the water ultra enchanter. Oh, uh, well that makes a lot of sense. No need to worry, Ben. I read in the book of enchanters that every Nigerian wolf passes out if they try to wield the ultra enchanter. I mean, just think about how many times Velka had passed out when she tried to wield all four ultra enchanters. Hmm, yeah, I guess. So anyway, where is Velka? She's fine. She went back home. You two will continue training tomorrow, if you're perfectly fine, of course. So, the Dead Wielder was the best with the Enchanters and the Ultra Enchanters? <sighs> Valgar Sonaris was one of the best. Yes, Ben. When the Enchanters were stolen by the monsters, the four Kingdom Masters had decided to see if a Stigma was brave enough to actually get the Enchanters back. And that Stigma was Valgaris, also known as the Dead Wielder. So then, they refused to give the Dead Wielder the power of the Enchanters, and then he killed the Masters, and then he grabbed all the power, making him one of the most powerful stick butts there are in Nigeria, but Master Aurelius can beat him. But do you know what I think, Ben? What? I don't think the Masters should let a stick butt go to Melagron just to get the Enchanters back. I mean, Melagron is one of the most dangerous places to go to. That's a pretty stupid idea just to get the Enchanters back. So, the rumors are true. 
There really is a dragon out there. Be careful. <laughs> uh, he bites. Hey, I'm glad you got my message, Heather. Welcome, my name is Caleb Sutaris. So, you're the one who sent me that messenger chicken? Indeed. Then, try to work on that errand chanter. Heather and I have a lot to talk about. It was no real challenge trying to find you, Heather. Knowing what's going on with Nigeria has been somewhat of a talent of mine, after all. At first, in the museum, I heard that there was two mercenaries that stole an egg. And then I heard reports and rumors that the egg hatched from a girl like you, Heather. And then I just heard about all this stuff about Stickbots being scared of a dragon out in the wild. Yeah, I did talk to him about that. I even want to know what it'll be like if he ever turned evil and decided to turn against me and try to kill me and all of Nigeria. So, let me get this straight. You spent the last four months raising and caring for your dragon and hunting down the dreadful league. But I'm not really sure if it's to help the poor and save the innocent. I'm pretty sure there's another reason why you did. You are destined for so much more than who you are now, Heather. You should know about that now ever since you first found the dragon's egg. What? What are you talking about, Caleb? You became a legend ever since that dragon egg had first hatched for you, and no stigma had ever had that happen to them before. So how would you like to do something that no stickbot could ever do? I mean, I would hardly call myself a legend, and this was hardly a coincidence, but I'm not sure. <coughs> oh my god! Saturn, where are your manners? I am so, so sorry about that, Caleb. He usually only does that every time he swallows his own fire. Ugh, yeah, I get it. I know every dragon is gassy, but pss, I didn't think they sting that bad. Ugh. Anyway, so back to what you were saying, something about some stick bots wouldn't do. Oh, right, and that thing is... <laughs> sorry about that, these Ultra Chanters really are unstable. And that thing that no other stick bot cannot do, except for a couple, is to become a Nebula Knight. Wait, what? That's right. But, but Caleb, th there's no way I could be a Nebula Knight. I'm just an ordinary young hunter. But you can be more than just a skilled hunter, Heather. You could be something greater, more epic, more powerful than ever before. There has never been a stick bot Nebula Knight before. And you can be the first. Well, I mean, I haven't really finished business with a dreadful leak yet, and I don't even know how to find the other Nebula Knights that are chosen. That shouldn't be a problem at all, Heather. Remember that messenger chicken that I sent to you to get over here? Well, he knows where the others are, and he can lead you to them, and you can recruit them. Hmm, <laughs> alright, I'll do it. It's weird, the dead master wasn't at Crown Zelta, but doesn't matter now, just search all of Nigeria, search every house, every building, leave no piece of wood unturned, and look under every rock. Find him, by your command, Captain. And I need to go and try and find Melissa. Melissa? Was she always like that? No, Cyber, never. Well, sometimes, but that was completely different. I mean, she didn't have any glowing red eyes. Hmm. Ugh, I should have known. Melissa is still stubborn and stupid. I told her not to go alone, and yet look what happened to her. <sighs> now that dead master has got my sister on his side. But no matter now, what we need to focus on is our mission. So it turns out that the dead master can control anyone he wants besides zombies. There's a pretty big problem for all the kingdoms. 
However, my only question is, how come he didn't try to mind control us earlier a long time ago? I don't know. But our number one priority is to avoid this very issue. We need to evacuate the stick bots and click bots of the kingdoms, and make sure the dead master doesn't get to them. Now wait just a minute, Cyber. We're not gonna go ahead and save Melissa first? She can come in handy in fighting this war. And besides, she's your sister. We don't know what the dead master's gonna do to her once he succeeds in his plans. I don't care, Lucas. She should have known better. I told her not to go alone, and she did. So now she's gonna have to wait. I gotta go somewhere right away. And Lucas, since you're not a good enough fighter, I'm assigning you for guard duty, not warrior duty. You didn't really do a good enough job fighting Melissa, so I don't think you stand a chance against anyone, even the dead master. <laughs> <laughs> Let him go. If you want to fight me, it should at least be fair. Oh, same little brat just like her. That's enough, Lucas. Don't make things worse. I'm flying back to Queen Mala and recruit of more knights. And keep an eye on Lucas. Make sure he doesn't go anywhere. Yes, sir. Whoa, did you see that, Valka? Yes, I did, Ben. That's the Energy Shield Enchanter. It will really come in handy for you fighting, and it'll really help in wars and just blocking stuff. So, can I see your other enchanters beside your wings? Uh, no, Ben. I don't plan on showing my Ultra Enchanters powers because I don't want to hurt you, and even though there may not be a lot of stick bots here or any stick bots at all, I still don't want to. I really should be using my Ultra Enchanters for fighting in emergencies only, not for playing around, goofing off, and for games and stuff like that. However, I am pretty thirsty, so I'll just use my Water Enchanter, but not for all that water skills and stuff, just for drinking. Ah, so refreshing. <laughs> well, that went well. Hey, it could've gone a lot worse. A lot of people hate enchanters, especially water enchanters, and I don't blame them. Yeah, I don't either. And my dad is one of those enchanter haters. A lot of stickbots hate enchanters for a bunch of reasons. So, may I ask why your dad hates enchanters? Well, my dad hates enchanters because he blames them for all the carnage that happens in Nigeria. He blames the enchanters for a bunch of loved ones dead. He blames the Ultra Enchanters for the wars and battles that happens. I can agree with your dad on that one, Ben. I mean, I think if the Enchanters had never existed in the first place, I don't think any of this would have happened, and our clans wouldn't be in war with the Anaris clan. And speaking about the Anaris clan, they have returned, and we don't know when they're gonna strike back. So now might be a good time to actually use the Enchanters, and to stop them once and for all. You're right. My family was killed by the Anaris clan. And now, I'm the last of the Galtara clan. And I've done nothing to avenge them. That's not entirely true, Ben. You've learned so much these past months and years that will help you in the fight, perhaps. And I think it's time for you to join the real battle, where you actually fight these threats. Alright, there's the Clickbot Kingdom, Tommy. To get in, you have to be as stupid as a bear trying to get honey from an actual bumblebee. Now wait a sec, Percy. Let me try and negotiate with one of the Clickbots, and maybe I'll be able to get through. Top of the morning to ya. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now wait just a minute there, Clickbot. You're not a Clickbot I've ever seen before in this kingdom, so I ask you to leave. What? But does it matter if I live here or not? Yes, yes it does. We don't allow any kind of clickbot outsiders here. And that includes you as well. So I ask you to leave before I beat you up. Uh, sorry Percy. Looks like that plan's not gonna work at all. I guess it turns out that we're gonna have to sneak our way in without getting caught. I've been way ahead of you on that plan, and I like it. Luckily, I have another plan as well. You again? That's right. Sweet dreams. Alright, here we go, Percy. Make sure you stay close behind me. Hey, 
Hey. That was actually a really good plan, Tommy. I can't believe that actually worked. Thanks, Percy. But we're not out of the woods yet. <gasps> yep, you're right. Guards. Stay right here. I got this. What the? <gasps> An outsider. <laughs> All right, Percy, the coast is clear now. Jeez, Tommy, I've never seen a clickbot fight like that before. I think you're probably a better fighter than Krogan. Psst, I doubt it. Alright, let's see what this kingdom has in store for us. I'm telling you, this one prisoner is extremely dangerous. Yeah, that's pretty much the same thing you always say to every single prisoner that you want me to guard. Dude... <sighs> yes, I know I say that a lot to every single prisoner that I tell you to guard, but this time he's very different. Why do you think we keep him in that very special and different cell? Hmm, <sighs> okay, I'll do it, but I doubt he's gonna be very dangerous. So, you're the prisoner, and I assume from your file that your name is Zillion. Oh, wow. <laughs> you guessed it already, huh? So anyway, why are you here? <laughs> why do you think I'm here? I'm here on guard duty, and today I'm guarding your cell. And one of the guards said that you're very dangerous, and I sincerely doubt it, since I hear that a lot to a bunch of other prisoners. Well, you haven't seen a prisoner like me. Would a prisoner be able to do this? <laughs> Are you kidding me? So the most dangerous inmate in this prison is a bunny? Please, you can't be too dangerous. You're just a reference off a of Bugs Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> You underestimate the power of bunnies, and you're certainly no serious guard like I know. But no matter, I'll kill you for this. Oh no, Zillion is free! Ugh, I hate blabber mounts. I was hoping for some fun. Let's do this thing. I would have liked to have gone a little longer to have more fun, but you guards are pathetic at fighting. <laughs> You're next, Ben Kaltara. Aiden, you gotta go. Well, Ben, are you ready for this? Oh yeah, I'm ready to join the Defenders of Nigeria. It's hopeless and useless having to hide in the shadows and just let them grow more strength with the monsters and the Anaris clan. And we're not really going to be facing the zombies, so I wouldn't say that. So anyway, the only problem is, where is the Defenders of Nigeria? Well, according to my calculations, they're not really far from here. So let's join them and try to end all these threats. Yeah. This is incredible. I never thought I'd get to see a dragon here. Like, ever. I know, it's incredible, right? Um, so I hope you mind me asking, but why are you here? I'm here to find the Nebula Knight. And it looks like you're a chosen one. Your fighting with the zombies was very impressive. Uh, Heather, I didn't say the girl. I said the boy over there. W what Me? A Nebula Knight? No, 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 no. There's no way I could be a Nebula Knight. Well, dear boy, it turns out that you're the chosen knight. This is really shocking news. Who would have thought that my little brother could be a nebula knight? It's shocking and amazing news, I gotta say. This is weird. I thought the nebula knights disappeared. They're coming back, and we may not be clickbots, but we'll be the first stick by nebula knights ever. 
my name is Heather Carter. Uh, hi, my name is Aiden. Aiden Drake. Hmm, amazing. Well, before you two go out seeking the other Nebula Knights and saving the world, I think it's time that you and I should have a little word. And you should have our sword, that way you won't be unprepared when you're fighting. Yeah, that's a good idea, I guess. Well, according to what I know, I think the defenders in Nigeria should be right here. But where? Intruders. Wait, what? Wait, no, 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 no. Uh, calm down there, Malena. We're not here to fight. We're here looking for the defenders of Nigeria. Fighting is what we do here. Looks like you two came to the wrong place. And who are you two? Are y'all spies? Wait, no, we're not spies. Ah! Let's have a go right now and find out what you're made of. Stand down, Glock. Ugh, well, I was only playing with them. The Nigerian with the lowest clan come at last. <gasps> Numerous! I'm glad you decided to join us, Ben. Although I am sad to not see your clickbot friend, but nevertheless, and I see you got yourself another recruit. Come on, and welcome to the Defenders of Nigeria. That clickbot right there is glocked. <laughs> Just don't get in my way and you'll be fine. Yeah. Anyway, so that Malena over there, her name is Helena. I don't mind her, she doesn't really like talking a lot. And there's one that doesn't talk at all. That's Stripe, also known by many of his enemies as the Demon Bot. Anyway, so I'd like to know your new recruit's name, so what's your name? Uh, hi, Nuberus, is it? My name is Caleb, Caleb Zutaris. He's a friend. I see. Well, to see if you two have the right fighting abilities, you two will be sporing with Glock. And today, we're gonna see what y'all are made of. Percy, stay right there and don't move. Only clickbots are allowed. Whoa, whoa, hold up. I, I didn't say I disagreed with you. Oh, really? Well, it sure seems like that. No, 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 no. I was just saying that. Now keep your mouth shut. A smart clickbot submits to those stronger than them. Ain't that right, boys? I think this one needs a reminder of who's in charge. If anyone wants to challenge me, come forward and show yourself. Nobody? What about you? Hey! Whoa, are you alright, Tommy? I've been better, Percy. Why are you following me, dude? Uh, sorry, I just saw you talking and fighting with that rather rude clickbot right there, and that clickbot is our leader, Krogan. <gasps> Wait, that's Krogan? The ruthless clickbot that caused massacres? Yep, that's definitely him. And I think I just, I don't know, I want to stop him. Hey, I want to stop him as well. Maybe we can work together. Hmm, sure, why not? So, we're training like this, with no weapons? Yep, this is a test for the weapons you're born with. Uh, that seems pretty unfair considering you're a clickbot. <laughs> you're just going to have to manage. Back on your suction cups. Ow! Ow! <laughs> and, uh, oh. oh man. I'm not trying to hurt you, Ben, but if you can't fight me, how will you fight the monsters and the Anaris clan? I heard there was a fight going on. I got a little excited and thought I'd join y'all. So, what's your name, kid? Uh, my name is Ben. Ever seen a talking panda before? Um, well, I have seen a lot of talking animals, but not never a panda. So, what's your companion's name? My name is Caleb. Hmm, nice to meet you, Caleb. My name is Alex, short for Alexander. So, you're a fighting warrior? Indeed I am. You saw how I took down Glock very easily, just like the way how we took down you very easily. 
So anyway, I'm one of the most powerful pandas there are in Nigeria. You'll be able to see about me later. But right now, I want to know about you. Have you ever wielded any enchanters yet? Well, yeah I have. I wielded the Earth Enchanter, and I've also wielded the Energy Shield Enchanter. Oh really? Can I see it? Um, sure. Wow, you're pretty good with that Enchanter, Ben. That will really come in handy when we're fighting. Welcome to the team, my man. Here you go, Aiden. You're gonna need a lot more than I do, but please, try and take care of it. It's been in our family for more than a decade. Um, Sam, are you sure about this? Of course, little bro. Now go out there and be safe. I hope to see you again after you save the world. I hope I'll see you again too, Sam. Alright, Heather, are you ready to go now? Well, I'm ready to go. We both are. But the real question is, does Chuck know where the other Nebula Knights are? Heather, I'm the smartest chicken you'll ever know and meet. So of course I know where the other Nebula Knights are. I'm trained. Alrighty, Chuck. Whatever you say. Alright, Aiden. Let's get moving. Alright. Goodbye, Sam. Goodbye, Aiden. So anyway, you cannot underestimate animals these days in Nigeria, especially an animal like me. I'm one of the most powerful pandas there is, and I was trained by a killer bunny named Zillion. What? Zillion? Who the bot is Zillion? I'm glad you asked then. Well, not really. But Zillion, he's my master. He's a bunny, a killer bunny, and he costs a lot of carnage in Nigeria. Pretty much almost a lot of threats come from Nigeria. Hmm. Anyway, so basically, he was locked up in prison for a lot of atrocities that he's committed, and he wanted me to come along, but I refused to. And I took his weapon, this weapon right here, it's made out of solid gold, but I guarantee that he didn't make it, because there's no way, he's too small to be a blacksmith. But. Here it is. Um, Alex, that's a pretty beautiful sword if you ask me, I gotta say. No, no, Ben. You should never really compliment an evil bunny's weapon. After all, it's not his, and it's not mine. And besides, we have better weapons, such as Stripe's crossbow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Big, shiny weapons. I could get the job done with my bare hands. Who needs weapons when you're a clickbot? I don't really like using weapons, not really because I don't like them, I just try not to use them. If you want to talk about being a true fighter and a true warrior, you shouldn't be using blades and other kinds of weapons. That's how my family taught me, so they never use weapons when they fight in the Great War. Well, not everyone has that kind of specialty, Helena. So anyway, show us what you got, Ben and Caleb. Well, okay, basically the only weapons that I have is just a sword behind my back and this shield right here. This shield is my prized possession. It has the Energy Shield Enchanter and the Earth Enchanter, so that makes it my best one yet. However, I only have this weapon and the sword behind me, so... Mm, I wouldn't call them the best, but I'm pretty sure this shield is the most powerful in all of Nigeria. Okay, what about you, Caleb? Well, just like what Ben said, my weapon is not as special as yours and Stripe's crossbow. Basically, I just have this random doll, probably the world's dullest sword because I used it so many times and I never really got a chance to sharpen it. Hmm, well anyway, is there anything else you want to talk about? What the heck? Grab your things everyone. Ben, Caleb, y'all are coming too. We're leaving now. Whoa, whoa, Nubris, what's the hurry? We were just having some fun. A group of Anars have been spotted going to a bedroom, and I followed them here, and I just came back here, and they're not alone. Guess who's with them? The Death Wielder himself. Wait, what, Nuberus? How in the world is that even possible? I'm not sure, Glock, but I'm not waiting to find out. And we're gonna show the world that the Defenders of Nigeria does not fear the Death Wielder himself, and is willing to do whatever it takes to stop him, along with King Armagon. So come on, and let's go. Queen Mala? Queen Mala? Uh, Queen Mala, are you here? <laughs> Fancy seeing you here, Captain. So, what do you want? I'm here to ask you if I can get some more knights, because a lot of them had died trying to fight the zombies in a little small war. Whoa, 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 Cyber. I'm gonna stop you right there. You can't expect me to give you knights every single time one of them dies, because we can't run out, or else we'll be completely helpless for the kingdoms. And besides, you're going to stick with what you have. A lot of stick bites die, but we can't lose all of them. And besides, some of my knights are helping with the Anaris clan to fight the moths since they have returned. 
But your majesty, the dead master and the dead scavengers are attacking now and they're slaughtering our people. If we don't do something and if we allow the zombies to advance, they'll overpower all the kingdoms combined. The Anaris clan, Kroka and his clickbots, and Zillion, they're only distractions. Even though I may have business with the monsters in King Armagon, but now I have to deal with this. This is a much bigger threat now. Is the Dead Master really the biggest threat there ever was? Or maybe he's just scaring you even more than ever before? Everyone thinks there's a threat, even bigger than one threat. We all have our own opinions, and you know that. And besides, Zillion broke out of prison, and the Dead Builder is not dead. And he's getting the Inaris clan and he's attacking all of Nigerians. He's probably gonna go after the kingdoms as well. And Krogan is doing the same thing. Then you should have assigned knights to go after them as well besides just the Anars clan. I can't, Cyber. It's like I said in the very beginning. We don't have a lot of knights now since a lot of them are fighting the Deadmaster and some of them are fighting the Anars clan. There's a lot of threats out there. King Armagon, Zillion, Krogan, and the Dead Builder. So we can only just hope and rely on those other warriors that are out there. <sighs> Alright, fine. Queen Mala, I guess you're right. Sorry. It's alright, Cyber, and I'm proud of you for your captain duty and how much you care. Alright, is everyone set and ready? Mm-hmm. Yep, pretty much, Nuberus. Now let's do this adventure. Yep, that's the spirit, Ben. But hang on, first things first. The world doesn't know that there's a lot of danger. Well, I'm pretty sure some stick quests do, but not all of them. There are a lot of threats out there. But we'll be able to take them down, and we'll show that the defenders of Nigeria has a lot to prove. And so what if we don't get a parade? We're not doing this just to get a lot of attention and glory, we'll do it because it's the right thing to do. And we may be heroes, but so what if we be heroes? We'll just be ordinary stickbots that just knows what to do. Even clickbots, such as you, Glock, and Tommy, which I don't know where he is. But anyway, what we're gonna do is- oh my gosh! I've heard enough, Nuberus. Let's just get going already. Oh man, your speech scared him off, Nuberus. <sighs> Whatever, let's just get going. Well then, this is easily the most unexpected thing I think that would ever happen to us. But I'm glad we're doing this to make a difference in our lives instead of just doing our old boring stuff. So let's fight the monsters and let's fight the Anaris clan for our family and for our friends, for your father, for my brother, and for Scarlet. Yep, I'm way ahead of you, Caleb. I'm with you to the very end. Same with the defenders of Nigeria, and for all the others. Let's go. Nuberus, where are they? Well, I'm not sure, but you said the Anaris clan was coming to this bedroom. Well, they could be somewhere else in the bedroom. You really need to look carefully about where they're going, Nuberus. <sighs> what can you see, Helena? Hmm, nothing much. Hmm, funny. I think we beat the Anaris clan here. They better hurry. I'm ready to kick some serious plastic butt. Whoa, whoa, easy there, Hercules. What does the Dead Wilder and the Anaris clan want from here anyway? What do you think? I don't know. Hmm, red diamonds? He's after the enchanters. Ben's right. When his dad hit the earth enchanters, most likely that he hit it here. Hey, wait, someone's coming. Well, who is it, Helena? Uh, oh, it's the captain. Oh, it is? Oh, form up, guys. Wait, what? Captain? But, numerous, I thought you were the leader. No, Ben, I was just taking order while she was away on her journey. Hmm, so who's in charge? I am. Who's asking? Scarlet! Look, Tommy, I really appreciate about what you did with Krogan back there, but it wasn't working you kicked out of the kingdom. Once you screamed out, hey, you knew that you'd be his next victim. You should have been more wiser than that, and more careful. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't know that was Krogan. Whatever. Anyway, I also appreciate you and Purchase's honesty about this whole situation, but you need to be more careful about what you say in that kingdom. Why is it so dangerous and bad to speak freely out in public now? Um, isn't it obvious, Tommy? Us clickbots are bad now. 
Ever since Krogan had took over, now everyone doesn't want to talk about clickbots. We're not allowed to speak freely. I mean, we're just bad now. And since Krogan had tried to invade all the kingdoms, a lot of clickbots had decided to join him. But why does Krogan want to attack and invade all the kingdoms? What need does he have for such power? Well, a lot of people like this, but they learn what also can be given, can also be taken. The first king ever. I'm not sure what his name was, but he was king of the clickbots, and he took order around a lot of kingdoms. And Krogan was obsessed with order and obsession. So then he decided to kill the king, and then he just committed unspeakable atrocities, just like the Anars clan and the monsters of Melagron. Well, I guess you got a point. Anyway, so you never introduced me your name, so what is your name? Oh, right, how rude of me. My manners, sorry. My name is Caesar. Well, it's nice to meet you, Caesar. I'm glad we both have a common goal. Well, according to my bird brain, this should be the spot where the other Nebula Knight is. Hmm. What in the world? What in the world happened to this guy? Heather, he's frozen solid. Hmm, I got an idea. Saturn, fire blast. No, 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 Heather, don't do that. You might accidentally kill him. Ah, uh, I guess you're right. I didn't think of that. Um, let's knock the cup over. Yeah, good idea. Okay, on three. One, two, three! He's still frozen. Well, we'll try to bust him out. That's some hard ice. Ow! Let's use our swords. Ugh. Are you alright, sir? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. How did you become frozen solid in that cup? Well, I thought ordinary stick blasts could wield enchanters, and I tried to wield the ice enchanter, but it turns out that only Nigerians can wield them correctly. And that's how I ended up frozen solid, and I lost the ice enchanter. So, yeah. So, who are you two? Um, oh right. Hi, my name is Heather Carter, and my partner right here, also known as a Nebula Knight, name is Aiden Drake, and the chicken right there is Chuck. Alright, what's up? So, what do y'all want? It looks to us that you're another Nebula Knight. What? Me? A Nebula Knight? No, 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 no. That can't be. Believe me, I'm as surprised as you are when I figured out that I was a Nebula Knight. But it's true. Chuck knows his things. Yep, it's true. Come on, you should come with us. We need to find the other Nebula Knight. Um, okay, whatever you say. Hello there! A talking chicken? Yep, I don't mind a talking chicken. Um, who are you? Uh, my name is Heather Carter. The chicken is Chuck. The others behind me is Aiden Drake, Josh Griffin, and my dragon Saturn. We're here for you. What do you guys want with me? You're a Nebula Knight, and you don't know it. And you're here to help us. Well... What? A Nebula Knight? But there's no way! If I had a Dawa for every time I've heard that... But, believe me, you are a Nebula Knight, or at least believe Chuck. And come on, we need to find the last Nebula Knight. Hmm... This is crazy. It's kind of hard to believe. I'm in disbelief of a lot of stuff, but this is a, a whole other level. Well, come on. Alright, it should be the spot, guys. Um, Cyber, what happened to getting new recruits? Queen Mala doesn't think I should get new recruits, or else we'll run out of knights and there'll be no knights at all to protect the kingdoms. After all, they have families, and they have loved ones like we do, so we can't waste all of them. We need to go with what we have. Uh, Lucas? Lucas? Oh no, Lucas, where are you? How could I lose him? Uh, let me guess, you lost Lucas. No matter, just let him get himself killed. He's no help anyway. Just like Melissa isn't helped either. Okay. It sure is a good thing that I still have this death scavenger uniform. Ah. <sighs> Okay, I gotta find Melissa, somehow. Oh no. 
Okay, here we go. Let's give this a try. <gasps> it actually worked. Scarlet, I, I thought you were dead. I tried looking everywhere for you, Ben. When I heard your dad was killed by the village ambush, I thought you died as well. Um, I take it you two know each other? Yes, we do, Nubris. But that isn't important right now. What's important now is the mission, and we need to focus on that. I was on my journey trying to find any kind of enchanters, even the earth enchanter that Ben's dad had hid. But I wasn't able to find it, or any other enchanters. And other stickbots and clickbots don't know where the other enchanters are, and I don't know about any kind of attack. Well, we do know about the Anoris clan attack, and we don't know how much time we have. <gasps> They're already here! You four, go down there and attack them, and I'll join with y'all. Hell no, provide cover and try to keep an eye out if any more Anaris is coming. Then, Caleb, wait here with Helena, stay there, do not do anything, and stay quiet. Now, let's move! I don't understand. She knows we can fight just fine. Well, maybe she's just trying to protect you two. What the? This doesn't feel right. Wait a minute, I think this group of Anaris was just a distraction. They already got it! Ben, Caleb, we need- wait, where's Ben? <gasps> ben! Step aside, girl, or you'll meet the same fate just as everyone else that we've encountered. Too long have I waited for this moment, you two. Do you know who I am, girl? Every Nigerian in Nigeria knows those cursed red and blue markings. Then you know who I do to those who interferes in my plans and my schemes. I commend your bravery, but there's no time and no reason for you to waste your life here. Let us go in peace, and we'll bring peace back to you. Peace was never an option, Death Builder. You murdered the Kingdom Masters and our Clan Masters, ignited so many wars, and slaughtered my clan. For them, the defenders of Nigeria will fight! I'm sorry, that's the way you see things. You! I know you! Yes, you're the son of Stuart Kaltara! <gasps> Argren! You will pay for what you've done! Then make me... fool. Duh! <laughs> I expected more from Ben Kaltara. You both fight well for kids so young, but y'all are foolish to think y'all can challenge us. <gasps> oh no! Where are they? What happened to them? So, you got any plans, Caesar? No, I'm not really good with coming up with plans. What about you? I don't know, but we have to think of something if we're gonna stop cro- <laughs> Shh, nothing. You didn't say anything. Go back to what y'all were doing. What are you trying to do? Trying to get us killed? We don't talk like that around other clickbots. We don't know if they're on our side or not. Hey! <gasps> what are you two doing? Uh, nothing, sir. Um, who might you be? Do you really not know? My name is Gormon. I'm Krogan's right-hand man. Now enough with the introductions. Every click button, come on! Let's move out! Uh, 
I was starting to become worried about you. Are you okay? Yeah. I yeah, I think I am. Good. Come on. We need to find the others. Scarlet, wait. How did you survive the attack on the Mandoras village? I made it out of there. I barely escaped. The Inaris clan attacked so suddenly and without warning, we weren't prepared for it. I wanted to fight and help the village, but I knew I couldn't. I wasn't ready. Kyle gave his life to help me escape. Kill them all and find those enchanters! Scarlet, you need to get out of here. What? No, not without you, Kyle. No, Scarlet, you need to go without me. I'm staying here and fighting for my clan and my village. No way, Kyle. Not without you. No, Scarlet, I mean it. I'd fight for my family. Now go, now! I'll come back for you. Just like when my dad gave his life to save me. Even though I was a greater fighter than him, I still didn't think I was ready. Until now, and Kyle still cared about me, and still wanted me to leave. And I knew I couldn't fight the Inaris clan and the monsters all by myself, so I began recruiting animals, stickbots, Nidirians, anyone willing to fight for a greater cause for Nidiria. The defenders of Nidiria we call ourselves. And no, they adopt the name, not me. I'm not really, no, I'm not really good at coming up with team names. It feels like it's been forever, Ben. <laughs> yeah, Scarlet. A lot has changed for us both. This isn't quite what I imagined what my life would be when I'm growing up. Well, it's a shame my parents can't be there to watch me grow up. But I think you and I are where we should be. I've missed you, Ben. I'm glad you're with me again after all these agonizing months. So Dad, Norris. His name is Argren? I recognize that scar on his face. Now I have the name to the face of the one who killed Kyle and our families. Come on. Just try a sip, Russell. Trust me, you'll really like it. Um, what is it? Well, it's basically just a bottle of water and some sort of potion that I don't remember. Well, I don't want to drink it if you don't remember the potion that you put it in. <laughs> Guys, I think we recruited the chicken. Uh, I'm right here. <laughs> uh, no offense. Fine, just give me it. Mmm, wow, that's actually kind of good. Uh, except my throat's kind of getting numb. Itchy, actually. Um, <laughs> why is it so hot? Uh, uh, oh my gosh, it's so hot! <laughs> uh, Josh, what the heck was in that drink? Well, judging by how he's running so fast and the fact that his face is red and he says it's spicy, I'm assuming that it's the dragon potion. <laughs> uh. Well, that explains it! Anyway, are we still going the right way, Chuck? Yeah, of course we are, Heather and Aiden. Although, she should be around here somewhere. Um, uh, are you sure we went the right way? Yes, I'm very sure. What the? Holy cow! You had to say it. What were those cows running from? Well, well, good afternoon, people. Who are you? Someone was hurt that a young girl and a chicken were recruiting their stick by version of Nebula Knights. My name is Selina the Second, and this here is my dragon, the Almighty Winter. We were on our way to find you. I guess he found us first. <laughs> Welcome to the team, alright. You have a dragon as well? How did you get it? When I found Winter, she got caught in a fight with Cerberus, but you held your own, didn't you, girl? 
I helped her with the Cerberus, but she was badly wounded, so I nursed her back to health. And now she's mine now. We're unstoppable. I mean, look at her. No one can take us down. And if they try, they'll be sorry for it. It's really fascinating knowing there's more than one dragon out in the wild. And hey, since you have your dragon, how about you and I take a ride with them together? I mean, I don't see why not. Sure. Man, I really wish we got dragons too. Uh-uh, not me. I'm scared of fire-breeding oversized lizards, and I'm afraid of heights as well. Hmm, sucks for you. Psst, hey, Melissa! Now, I'll give you only one chance to work with us. I'll die before I work with you, ugly. Fine, have it your way. Consider yourself lucky since you have no face and I can't mind control you. You know what to do. Whoa, whoa! Okay, I did not need to see that. Now, it's time for all the others. Recruit all the dead scavengers. We leave at once to attack the kingdoms. Oh no, he's going to attack now. I got to warn Cyber, but will he believe me? I have no other choice. I gotta go. <gasps> I knew I heard talking. You're not gonna be able to tell anyone, because he won't be alive to tell them. Oh man, I'm so worried about Ben and Scarlet. I don't know where they went, but we gotta find them, Numerous. We will, Caleb, but first we- We're right here! I thought we weren't supposed to attack the Death Builder. But thankfully, I'm glad to see you guys are okay. Is everyone else alright? We're fine, thankfully. But some bad news, the Death Builder had made it with the Earth Enchanter. However... Well... <laughs> I don't see what's so amusing, Numerous. After the Death Builder escaped, we were met by another Nidirian, someone who can help. Alright, so who's the new recruit? Hello there, Scarlet Sidera and Ben Kaltara. <gasps> My name is Kaljar Nars. I am the Free Builder. Very good, very good, both of you. However, y'all can use a little bit more training. Y'all really need to practice on y'all balancing. Yes, Master Aurelius. Oh no! Oh yes. <laughs> it's Valgor Sonoris! Hello, gentlemen. Well, I guess it turns out that none of your students can stand a chance against me. We shall see, Valgaris. Yes, we shall see indeed. What do you want, Valgaris? What was rightfully mine a hundred years ago? The Lightning Enchanter! The Lightning Enchanter is under protection from any kind of evil, and will protect it no matter what, even from the lights and evilness from you, Death Wielder. <laughs> I'm so glad you feel that way, Master Aurelius. You see, 104 years ago, you aged so fast, and yet I still look very young, unlike you. And you were supposed to die, but thanks to Master Suffolkor, you're still alive. And you look like you're older than the walls of time. And what are you gonna do? Kill Master Thunderplasm? No. I won't make the same mistake I did all those years ago. I care for Master Thunderplasm. And Master Salvacor was the only one to ever care about my clan. But y'all were the exact opposite. 
Y'all looked at my clan with hatred, no love, no respect. You banished us so many times, and all we wanted was just an equal right with all of us. And yet, we didn't get that. And you will pay the consequences for that. Yes, and allow me to explain what's gonna happen. One of you there, one of you there, and one of you way over there, staining the wall with your blood! You evil monsters! Too long have I waited for this moment, old man. You will go down, Balgos. We'll see. That is a warning. You're no match for me. You're right. I'm not. But this is... How ironic it is for you to die by the staff of the Anaris clan. <laughs> the Free Builder? How is that even possible? During the battle at the bathroom, I fought with Valgaris, and I've been following him ever since. I could talk about this later, but first, I have a couple of questions myself. Where is Saber and the rest of the Nebula Knights? The Nebula Knights disappeared a hundred years ago. We won the Great Sigma War, and they haven't shown themselves since. I see. Then time has really gone away for me. Has Valgaris gone all the enchanters? Thankfully, he didn't. Stuart Kaltara hit the Earth Enchanter, and he knows where the other enchanters are, but somehow Valgaris knows where they are as well. And where's Stuart now? My dad is dead, Freeholder. He died trying to save my life. What? <sighs> then we must make haste to ensure his death and many others were not in vain. Are you sure there's no one that may know where the enchanters are? No one. No one had figured out where they are, but we gotta find them before the dead wilder does. Well, even though I may not know where one enchanter is, but a couple of months ago, my dad had told a random person in Crown Salto where the enchanters are, and I was with them on the journey. Well, then we ride to Crown Salto immediately. Now wait just a second there, Free Roller. Don't think just because you just showed up right now and that you're the legendary Free Roller doesn't mean you could just take charge right there. We follow Captain Scarlet's orders. Galong's got a point, Free Roller. It's your call, Scarlet. Crown Salta is where we're gonna head next. But first, we need to rest up, because we can't do that after what we just spent through. So, I'm assuming that this is the whole team? I mean, Chuck didn't say that there was any more Nebula Knights out there. Well, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Josh Griffin. I am well known for being a very good explorer and a very cheeky and nosy stickbot. Like one time when Aiden and Heather found me, I was frozen solid in a cup full of ice. And I tried to wield a, um, well, what was it again? Um, oh yeah, the Ice Enchanter. I tried to wield the Ice Enchanter, and it turns out that it only works on Nidirians. It doesn't work on ordinary stick buds like myself, and all of us. So then, I just ended up getting frozen solid, and I lost the Ice Enchanter. Did you seriously try to wield an Ice Enchanter? Did you not know that normal stick bots can't wield those like Nidirians do? Well, hey Selena, what can I say? I just like to explore and just try new things. Anyway, enough about me. So, Fireball, tell us about yourself. Me? Oh, alright. Well, my name is Russell Peterson. I live in Athedia, and I'm hoping to one day be a true blacksmith. 
For now, I'm just a beginner blacksmith, and I'm not really good at coming up with weapons, or at least making them like normal swords and axes. So, you're saying, if you master being a blacksmith, you can make me the best weapon ever? Hmm, well Josh, pretty much. However, I would have to be a really good professional for that, and I'm not willing to try and be that kind of stickbot. Alright, Aiden, you have a sister, right? Yeah, I do. My older sister is the protector of my family. We fight a bunch of undead where I'm from. All we do is just fight, and I just sit there and just do nothing because I'm not as skilled as her. Wow, Aiden, that must suck. But you should be lucky to have a big sister that can help you and just fight for you like that. I guess. So, Heather, are you ready to become the first Stickbot Nebula Night Queen to ever rule Nigeria? Um, Selena, I don't plan on ruling Nigeria. Why not? Come on, Heather. The Nebula Knights have ruled Nigeria for years. That is, until they disappeared somewhere and we don't know where. Uh, well, Selena, I didn't ask to be a Nebula Knight. I mean, none of us did. And besides, I don't even know anything about ruling a kingdom or a world. It's just not my kind of specialty. Well, it should be, Heather. Perhaps you're putting too much pressure on yourself. I can help you with that. What if there was two queens? Uh, Selena, being a queen and being a king is not very easy. Think about how much stress Saber had to go through. And besides, y'all are two young girls that have dragons. That really should not prove anything. Even though it might, but still. Well, someday though. Vador's clan, your master, Aurelius, is dead. No one will be able to protect you now, and there will be no master for your clan. However, it's not too late to save yourselves. Y'all will be able to live if y'all give me an enchanter. I have three red diamonds for anyone who gives me any enchanters that lie here. Fine then, lock them up or kill them. Your heart is so full of hatred, Dead Wilder. You should be sentenced to treason! Did you really think they'd tell us? I'll find those enchanters. I'll find them even if I have to burn down all of Nigeria! Stop right there! Master Aurelius used clickbots as guards for the Vadoris clan village. He must be desperate. Very pitiful old man, especially for the most powerful Nigerian that ever lived. No matter, I'll take care of this. What the butt? I finally reached my most powerful form of a master. Every master has to master a whole entire level to be the most powerful out of all the clan members in their clan. And now I have. Since Master Aurelius is dead, this makes me the most powerful stickbot that ever lived. You're a real stupid clickbot if you think you can take me. You knew who I am, because you know I'm the legendary death wielder, and I kill anyone who ever gets in my way. But I commend your bravery trying to take a stand against me since you're a clickbot. But you wasted your own life, no matter. For this, you'll be rewarded with a quick death. <sighs> oh my! Now, let's get moving. So, how's it feel to know that your mom's a guard? Hmm? Oh, hey Captain Cyber. Well, I guess it's alright. Although my mom never really spends time with me enough, that way we can do some fun stuff while she's in charge of doing guard duty. I'm pretty sure it's a hard job. Yep, becoming a guard is a hard job I can imagine for your mother. Oh, certainly. I'm pretty sure she expects me to become the next guard as she passes away and take her place. Isn't that what it was like with you, Captain Cyber? Definitely. My father was captain of the guard before me, and my grandfather before him. 
and it's pretty obvious that they wanted me to be the next and be the best captain there ever was. Do you find it scary being captain? Kiddo, of course I find it scary being captain. Being captain is one of the most challenging jobs you can ever do in Nigeria. I mean, I have to face a lot of threats, and I need to set an example and not be a coward. And I have one important mission, and that's protecting all of the kingdoms. And I'm dealing with the biggest threat there ever was, in my opinion, not the biggest ever, but the Dead Master. I've been fighting his zombies and his scavengers, and I have to stop them once and for all before they attack all of the kingdoms. If they, if they succeed with their plans, and if they attack all of them, then I'll be the first captain ever to ever let our kingdoms fall. And there are a lot of threats out there that'll be able to try to invade the kingdoms. But the, the number one is Deadmaster. I cannot and will not let the Deadmaster take control. He may be able to mind control stickbots, but I can't let him mind control my soldiers and have them turn against me. As long as I stand, the kingdoms will as well. Do you know anyone that's been mind controlled by the Deadmaster? Yes, sweetie, I actually do. Her name is Melissa. She's my little adopted sister. She lost her family, and now she's my sister. Of course, lost loved ones can never be replaced. Anyway, she decides she can kill the Dead Master all by herself, and that caused her to get mind controlled by the Dead Master. And one of my soldiers named Lucas is coming after her and trying to save her life before she gets killed when the Dead Master succeeds, which I will not let that happen. Why aren't you saving her? Because I'm captain, and I have to do with all this duty work, like taking order and telling soldiers what to do and what not. You'll see one day when you become captain, but you'll be a guard since you said your mother is gonna want you to be the next. But don't you worry, she'll come. Alright, well it seems like that we got the whole entire team. So, uh, Alex? If Zillion was such an evil bunny, why did you work for him? Well, he wasn't exactly an evil bunny when I first met him. When I first met him, he was nice and very heroic. And he was like a captain, a very righteous soldier, and a soldier to the stickbot gods. So, why did he turn evil? He became obsessed with power, and all he just wanted was everything to himself. When I first met him, he saved my life when I was in the middle of fighting monsters. So then, he decided to help me, but then I decided to help him back in return. And that's how he became a soldier. But then when I found out what he was doing, robbing and killing other stickbots and clickbots and killing their pets, I just got really furious and I decided to turn against him. I have fought him before. He really did take me down all those years ago. But since then, I think I could take him down again. He wasn't like this ever since. And ever since that day, I just didn't really trust any kind of bunny. After all, almost every single bunny in Nigeria can talk. Just like a bunch of other talking animals, such as myself. I'm one of the greatest pandas there ever was, and I'm a brilliant fighter. So, do you think you could take down the Death Builder? Uh-uh, no way. I'd be a fool to think I could take down the Death Builder. He may be powerful, but he's not invincible. If you put a sword through him, he'll bleed just like anyone else, like all of us. If you'll recall, a hundred years ago, he killed the Kingdom Masters and the Clan Masters, except for Master Aurelius, the master of my clan. The Death Wilder was too weak for Master Aurelius. But I'm so confused, because I could have sworn that Master Aurelius had survived. He did survive, but the only reason why he survived was because of Master Salvacor, the master of the Mandaras clan. If it weren't for his sacrifice, Master Aurelius wouldn't have been the only survivor. I'm pretty sure Master Salvacar would have if he didn't die because of the Dead Wilder. And I'm pretty sure that he'd be the last surviving master. But he isn't. He's a true hero. He's willing to even save masters as well, just like he's able to save his own clan. That's what makes us really like Master Salvacar so much. That's why on the walls of time, he was chosen as one of the greatest masters of all time. But it's still sad that we lost him. But his son, Master Thunderblossom, is taking over. However, I don't even want to think about what he's going through with what just happened. And hey, Glock, I have a question for you. Are you sure you're not Clonk? What? No, I'm not my evil twin brother, Clonk. His name starts with the letter K. My name starts with the letter G. So are you aware that Clonk died because of the Galaxy Defenders five years ago? 
Yes, I'm very aware, but Clark deserved it. After that, I ran back home, and then decided to join the Defenders of Nigeria and try to be the exact opposite of Clark. Modulus is dead, so I'm pretty sure he won't be able to revive him, or Clark won't be able to revive Modulus. Oh, Alright, I'm off to bed. Yeah, me too. Good night, you guys. You coming, Ben? Uh, nah, I'm just gonna relax for a little while. Alright then, good night, Ben. Sleep well, Scarlet. Mind if I talk with you for a sec? Yeah, sure. I must say, I am feeling rather lost of what happened all those years when I was in the round, and I'm sorry to hear about your dad's death. He was a powerful ally, and a good friend, and I'm sure he's a good father to you. Yeah, he really is. He was all I have left in the Galtara clan. But now I'm the last. I'm really sorry to hear about that, Ben. Believe me, I truly am. We were really good friends fighting in the Great War together. And since then, I just don't know what's been happening all those years. I'd like to hear it from you. Hmm, well, I'm not sure if I can remember everything you want. Nah, it's alright. I guess I'm gonna tell you. Did you know, before they called me the Free Wilder, I was a farmer in my clan village? Well, it's actually the Anaris clan village. But I'm an Anaris, and I'm also half Mandars, and Master Sophocor had raised me and my brother, the Dead Wilder. So, your name is Kaljar Anaris? That's right. And your brother, the Dead Wilder, his name is Valgaris Anaris? That's right. So you're both brothers? Yeah, of course we are. It's hard to fight against your own sibling. But hey, siblings fight a lot. Well, I never got to meet my siblings. I'm the youngest out of them all, and they're all gone. I'm really sorry, Ben. A lot of people lose loved ones. I hate to say it, but it happens to everyone. Just like in the Great War, many lives were lost. But anyway, I'd like to know about what you already know about Nigeria and what's been going on. Hmm, well, alright. Well, after the Great War, an evil clickbot named Krogan had taken over and killed the old clickbot king and caused mass carnage. And, a, and an evil bunny named Zillian, he broke out of prison, and now he's starting to attack the kingdoms. And speaking about kingdoms, there's also this evil skeleton named the Dead Master. He's attacking the kingdoms just like a lot of others are. I mean, there are so many rulers that wish to take control of the kingdoms. It's pretty weird. I just don't know who's gonna rule the kingdom first, or whoever will. Alright, Ben, you told me enough. You and I have so much in common. Well, anyway, let's get some sleep. It's very late, and we have a long journey ahead of us. Alrighty, you guys, we have reached the end. Now for this final stop, it's for a mystery place. Now, Heather, I don't know if Caleb told you about this, but there's this random dragon metal stone with a bunch of helmets. Hmm, a mystery, huh? Well, I'll be the judge of that. I wonder what Caleb told you that we haven't seen yet. Well, you'll be surprised. It's around here somewhere. Somewhere around here, huh? Hmm, wait, is that it? Well, 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 if it isn't Valgar Sonaris, what do you want? I came here for a favor. Many years ago, you and I formed the most powerful alliance ever known in the Great War. And now, I want the same thing to happen again. <laughs> wow, Death Builder, you really came with a pathetic decision, huh? You and I have won the most powerful alliance 104 years ago in the Great Stickball War, and you and I lost. My monsters have failed me, and your clan failed you. And after when all this started, a lot of things had changed, and now you want to repeat the same thing and cause a second Great War. Well, well, hmm. My father was the ruler and the king of Melagron before me, 
And for years and generations, his destiny was to rule all of Nigeria. And since he passed away is now nothing but a spirit, he wants me to rule the overworld in all of Nigeria itself. That is pleasing to hear, King Armagon. And as you may know, I have no interest in ruling all of Nigeria, like many threats there are in Nigeria. The kingdoms are falling apart, the nebula lights haven't been seen since the Great War have ended, and the Dead Master is almost succeeding in his plans with the undead. Now is the time to strike. Fight with me, and help me reclaim the enchanters, and in return, I promise you all the monsters of Melagron will rule the Nigeria once more. Now all of y'all will be assigned to do y'all duty. Back to work. Um... Oh, oh, I'm terribly sorry. I didn't see you there. Watch where you're going, you clumsy oaf. Not this time. Get him! You both will pay for this. Tommy, wait here. I got this. You haven't even lost an eye, and yet you're wearing an eye patch. Way to go, Caesar. But where were those fighting skills when you first fought Krogan? I'm not sure, but we have no time. Krogan's almost gonna succeed in his plan. We gotta stop him quick. What are you waiting for? Go. You're free. You don't have to follow their orders anymore. Uh, yeah, we're going. Who goes there? Sarge, it's me. Lucas, where have you been? Cyber's gonna kill you when- Listen, I don't have time to talk about what rules I've broken or what sort of trouble and punishment I'm gonna face. But the Dead Master and his scavengers are attacking now. Lucas, how do you even know this? Uh, I'm sorry, Lucas, but I have to take you when. Cyber needs to hear this from you. No, I can't. Not yet. Not until I get Melissa back. If you want to stop me, you're gonna have to kill me. In which I prefer you didn't. I'll be trying to be back. <laughs> Free will there? There's something I gotta tell you. What is it? My dad hates enchanters, and he doesn't want me using them. What? Why does your dad hate enchanters? Because he blames them for the tragedies that happened in Nigeria. I share that opinion. During the Great Stigma War, I refused to use the Enchantress against Valgaris. But the Enchantress themselves are not evil. I've used the Enchantress to save many lives and to bring peace in this world. You should wield your Enchantress once again, Ben. The Great Stigma War has returned to Nigeria, and there'll be no escaping it this time. Krogan. Ah, I remember you too. What do y'all want? To get beaten up again? No. We want you to put an end to this clickbot mayhem. Why should I? Stickbots hate clickbots, and it's time we teach them some manners. But that's your own fault. My fault? <laughs> and why is that? Don't think just because I killed the clickbot king and ruled the clickbots and tried to get dominance on everyone else doesn't make it my fault. Of course it's your fault. We should be working together. Working together is weakness. Working together is not weakness. We should not be invading the kingdoms. We should be bringing peace with those we share Nigeria with. Peace made us weak. Clickbots were never really a good thing, even after the Galaxy Defenders had saved the world from Modulus. You don't know that. And you two can't stop me either. I wasn't planning to. Well, not really. We weren't planning to. Oh, we were actually thinking that we could negotiate? I think it's time I show you two how real clickbots negotiate. Okay, we wanted to do this anyway. Yeah!
croaking. You're gonna wish you never started this in the first place. <laughs> you have no idea how wrong you are. You're a worthy opponent, Tommy. You were able to survive a whole minute fighting me for an outsider. You'll die with honor. No! Mind if I join in the fun? Percy, I can't believe it! You're here! And just in time, too. Tommy looks like he needs help. Great, now a stick bot's joining in. This should be fun. You three haven't thought this through, did y'all? <laughs> Poor thing. Look at yourself. You only have one arm. You're a mess. Now you die. Why you that? Your reign is over. Wow, nice job, Tommy. <sighs> Uh, Tommy? Tommy! Tommy, can you hear us? Ooh, they're nice looking. Indeed they are, Aiden. These Nebula Knight helmets are too heavy for ordinary stick bots to wear, but they're meant for Nebula Knights and Nebula Knights only. We should put them on. Way ahead of you, Selena. There's certainly enough in here for everyone. Mm, not everyone. There's five of us, and there's only four helmets. I don't see another helmet for Heather. Maybe she was a mistake. Quite interesting. Don't say that, Selena. She's not a mistake. But she's right, though, Chuck. There isn't a fifth helmet. Maybe she's right. Maybe I was a mistake. No, 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 Heather. Just because there's not another helmet doesn't mean you're not a Nebula Knight. What if that is the case? I mean, there was only four clickbot Nebula Knights. Saber, Tempest, Blitz, and Barrage. And I don't think there was ever a fit Nebula Knight. Hmm, and what's this? Hmm, looks like this Dragonstone belongs to the leader of the Nebula Knights. Okay then, give it to me then, Selena. Why should this be yours? Why should you be the leader when I could be the leader? I will rule Nigeria as the ancient Nebula Knights once did. The kingdoms will once again be our throne, and the kingdoms will submit to me, or they will be destroyed by not following my leadership. You'll have to go through us first, Selena. It was Heather that brought us together, and it's her we follow. A dragonstone isn't enough to make you ruler. You should have stayed back and let your sister be the Nebula Knight, and you should have just kept her and be a coward. It's the only thing you've been good at, Aiden. Selena, we won't let you do this. Another war is coming, and we need to fight alongside Nigeria, not against it. <laughs> You're so naive, Heather. You know that? The stick boss and click boss of Nigeria would never fight together, unless we make them. We kill those who refuse. And there's one more little twist. You remember the dreadful league, right? Um, yeah, what does that have to do with this? I'm the lieutenant of the dreadful league's daughter. <gasps> You're his daughter? Yes, and you will pay for my father's death. Now! Yeah. <gasps> Mmm, I love chicken. You won't get away with this. 
Oh, I already have. This is a fight you cannot win, Heather. I'm going to enjoy this. Oh. Get the dragon! Heather! All right, can I get your attention now, wild animals? As you know me, Zillion, the leader of the bunnies, and all the talking animals that live in Nigeria, I escaped from prison and now I'm ready to take control of the kingdoms and all of Nigeria. There are a lot of threats out there that want to take over Nigeria, but I'll be the only one. Just you wait, and all of y'all are gonna help me. And once we're done, we will succeed in ruling Nigeria, and all of us will rule everything, and all the citizens in Nigeria will come under my control. Do we have a deal? Yes, Zillion. Excellent. <gasps> oh, man. What the? How? How am I alive? Where are my friends? Oh! <gasps> oh no, Selena! They took my friends away! Oh, I gotta find them, but... <gasps> Saturn! Saturn, no! Don't you dare leave me! Please! I've already lost enough loved ones! No! No! Not what happened four months ago! Please! Wake up! Wake up! You gotta fight! <gasps> Huh? <gasps> Saturn! Don't you ever scare me like that again. Yeah! God. Caleb? Hey, Heather. Oh man, you hit hard now. Your punching has really gotten stronger. Yeah, I apologize for that. So, what do you want? I came to see you. I see you must have been through a lot. So what happened here? One of my nebula knights had took the dragon stone and nearly killed me. And now she's gonna try and rule all of Nigeria and be the next queen of the nebula knights. There was no fifth helmet, Caleb. I don't think I was supposed to be a nebula knight. There was only four helmets and there was five of us. I think I was a mistake and Chuck was wrong. No, Heather, you're not a mistake. Maybe Selena was the mistake, 
because no true nebula light would never cause any kind of evil. But she did cause evil, because she's the daughter of the Lieutenant of the Dreadful League. Oh wow, that's a huge twist. Then maybe she wasn't supposed to be a nebula light. Maybe she was the mistake. There was only four stick bots that can only wield stick by nebula light armor, and I don't think she was able to wield her nebula light armor. Then what must I do, Caleb? Get the Dragonstone back and save your friends and get the rightful wield of being queen of Nigeria and the Nebula Knights. I can't believe it. Me neither. So y'all are just gonna give up like that? There's nothing we can do, Aiden. Either's dead, we're stuck in this cage, and Selena's got the Dragonstone, and now she's gonna become the next queen of the Nebula Knights and Nideria. Well, I can't let that stop us. We can't just let her win. She already has Aiden. Hello there. When we get out of this, Selena, we're gonna take you down hard. I promise you that. <laughs> Sorry, that's just really funny coming from someone who's not going anywhere anytime soon. How can you do this, Selena? I thought we were friends. <laughs> we were never friends. I only just wanted to join y'all so I can kill Heather for what she did to my father. And my revenge is completed. The only question is, I don't know what I'm gonna do with you guys. Oh wait, I do. I'm gonna be queen, and y'all are gonna be there to watch. And y'all will be my slaves and do whatever I say, or be killed. You're a piece of scum. No, no, Aiden. I'm an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur? What kind of business are you starting besides killing others? You'll see, Chicken Doodle. Winter, please, don't do this. It's not too late for our redemption. She's doing the wrong thing. You can still help us. Please. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Let's get moving. Now. Now go! I knew she wouldn't help us. She's just as evil as Selena is. Um, I don't know, Russell. Because Winter didn't look like she was enjoying what Selena was doing. Are you kidding me, Aiden? If she wanted to help us, she would have killed Selena because she's a lot more powerful than Selena ever was. It's hopeless, Aiden. We're not getting out of this. No one's gonna help us anytime soon. We might as well just give up. We gotta get out of here. Now! What the? <gasps> Heather? Saturn, electric blast. Heather! It's good to see you two. Now come on, we gotta- Ooh. And you just kissed me. Oh my, somehow I saw that coming. Sorry, I couldn't help it. I was so worried about you. We all thought you died. Is everyone okay? Are you okay is the question, Heather. I'm alright, kinda. I'm a little stiff, but I'll be fine. But, I don't think I was supposed to be a Nebula Knight, Aiden. I mean, there was only four helmets, and... I know Selena was bad and all, but... I think she was supposed to be the true Nebula Knight. Are you kidding me? Nebula Knights are good, and we saw you get stabbed clean in the chest by a trident and a sword, and yet somehow you survived. Maybe you're not the mistake. Maybe Selena is the mistake. I guess. Hey, stop right there. Are you a friend or foe? I'm a good friend. It's alright, Aiden. This is Caleb Zutars. He's a friend of mine. He's the one that told me I was a Nebula Knight in the first place. Well, good luck to you guys in taking down Selena. I need to go back to the Defenders of Nigeria. Make sure you get your rightful place as Queen Heather. Yes, I will. That evil bastard's gonna get what's coming to her. Okay, it's clear up here. <gasps> what the what? Guys, we need to search for survivors. I am really getting sick and tired of always seeing dead bodies. Yeah, I hear you, Ben. But who could have done this? Uh, maybe the Anaris clan? That could be like the only a choice. No, it can't be the Anaris clan. 
There's no way. I think I recognize this. <laughs> you should, free Wilder. <gasps> the monsters of Melagron. Ha! Huh, you guessed it. We did this. <laughs> you have a funny voice, and I had no idea y'all can talk. Yeah, you regret saying that. What are you doing in Nigeria? Isn't it pretty obvious? King Aragon and the Dead Ruler had made a deal just like a hundred and four years ago when they started the First Great Stickball War, and now they're going to cause a Second Great Stickball War, and there'll be no one to stop them now. Even y'all can't stop them. And soon y'all will fall just like those courageous soldiers that died long ago. <laughs> This is a war y'all won't win this time. <laughs> all right, that's all of them. Whoa, I should have seen that coming. Armagon. Well, well, if it isn't the legendary free roller, we meet again. I stopped you once, I can stop you again. We shall see you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You were never capable of stopping me, Kaljar. You and your friends are done. You took your friends? Go ahead, run. I know where y'all go. Are you sure he's gonna be alright, Caesar? Yes, Percy, I'm very sure. Ugh. <gasps> Tommy! Oh man, <gasps> wait a minute, didn't I lose an arm? <laughs> Don't worry, Tommy. You're a click bot. Your limbs just click back on your body. Oh, well that's a relief indeed. So, what now? We defeated Krogan, and we saved the kingdoms from him, so what then? Hmm, I know, maybe we can join the Defenders of Nideria. The Defenders of Nideria? Mm-hmm, I have a good friend there named Ben Kaltara, and I can't wait to meet him again after four months. Hmm, well that sounds interesting, Tommy. What the? Listen, Master Thunderplasm, I know you didn't like that your father had raised for the Dead Roller and the Free Roller, but what he did was right, even though it may cost a lot of lives, especially himself. Well, maybe it is his fault. I don't want to talk about it anymore. You can go now. Okay, see you around, Master Thunderplasm. I can't believe this. My own father caring for the Dead Roller. Hello there, Master Dunderplasm. <laughs> Winter, gather each leader from every kingdom and bring them to me. It's like I said, this is where they always retreat, since this is where they live. I forgot all about this place, but not anymore. Chiron, do everything you can to try and find them on the ground. Yes, King Armagon. 
You try to find them above the ground. Ah, this is where I'm supposed to be. This is my real home. For some reason, I just feel so nostalgic after 104 years ago from the first Great Stick Bomb War, and the dead ruler had asked me for help. And now he's gonna ask me for help again, and he wants me to help him with all of these enchanter issues, and in return, he says he's gonna let me rule all of Nigeria, and to make sure all the power is mine. Hmm. We'll go ahead and find out. And soon, all of the defenders of Nigeria will fall, and everyone else will. My plans will succeed this time. Is everyone alright? Uh, I'm alright. Me too. Same here. Good, we gotta get moving. Guys? What the heck happened to y'all? We got ambushed by the monsters of Melagron, and King Armagon is now gonna try to invade Nigeria once again. Oh, well that explains it. Ben, I think it's time we meet this person at Crown Zalta. Right, just follow my lead. Ugh, that will there! Calm down there. I only want to talk. There's nothing to talk about! Stand down. I don't want to fight you. Well, I want to fight you. I'm going to release you. Because your father cared for me. And I care for you. Whether you accept that or not. But if you continue to oppose me, then I will kill you. What do you want? I just want to say, I didn't mean to kill your father all those years ago. <laughs> you expect me to believe you? No, I do not expect you to believe me. But heed my warning. The evacuation is complete and we fortified the perimeters. But something's wrong. Things have been quiet. Too quiet. Shouldn't the Dead Master have attacked by now? Captain! Captain Cyber, Lugan had arrived, he's been undercover with the Death Scavengers and says they're marching straight to the capital and all those kingdoms. What? Pack what you can, we fly to the capital immediately. <laughs> finally, you see this winter, I finally absorbed the true Nebulonite power from the Dragon Stone. Now I am the true queen of Nigeria and the Nebula Knights. You all stand in the presence of Queen Selina II. You will all bow before me or be destroyed. So kneel! I said all of you kneel! Fine then, Winter, kill them. I said kill them, now! Selena, after everything you've done, you don't deserve to be queen. So you came back from the dead to watch the kingdoms fall. How nice. However, you're too late. I already absorbed the power from the Dragonstone. Even you and your friends are too late to stop the coming doom. We will soon see which of us is doomed. Kill Saturn. Your Majesties, y'all are free to go. Make sure you get your way down the piano scene and out of here. Goodbye, Heather.
You... You should be dead. So should you. You betrayed the Nebula Knights, betrayed Nigeria, and you betrayed me. <laughs> you won't kill me. It's not in your nature to kill an unarmed opponent. You're right. I won't kill you. But he will. <laughs> And now I'll be taking that helmet. Welcome to the Nebula Knights, Queen Heather. It's an honor, Aiden. Okay, where we can find the information is up those stairs. Alright, all of y'all stay here where it's safe. Ben and I can retrieve the information. I'll be fine. I got the legendary free wilder with me. <sighs> I always hated going up giant stairs. Yeah, me too, Ben. Hurry now, which way? Over there, in that room. Okay, it seems like the coast is clear. Victor? Victor, are you here? Who are you two, and what do y'all want with me? My name is Ben Kaltara. I'm the son of Stuart Kaltara, the master of the Kaltara clan. I was here many months ago when he gave you information on where the enchanters are. Oh, right. I remember that now. Stuart gave you the information to make sure no one else would get it. We need that information before the Death Wielder gets it. Well, you're too late for that. I already had the information. Valgaris Kaljar. I should have known you'd follow me into the Second Great Stupid War. The Death Wilder had the information on where the Enchanters were the entire time. I mean, how do you think he found so many Enchanters? My dad trusted you. Your dad wanted to keep the Enchanters safe. They're safe with me. When the Death Wilder and King Armagon rule all of Nigeria, I'll be having my peace, and I'll be having a little spot of my own and not be crushed in some sort of stupid rebellion. You don't have every single enchanter, and your Anaris clan has the least amount of fighters, and you have no allies. I stopped you last time. We stopped you last time. And we will stop you again. We'll see. Now, Kaldor! Ben, Ben, are you alright? Can you hear me? You were wrong about one thing, Kaljar. It's you that has no allies, and it's you that's outmatched. Where are the Nebul Knights? Are the kingdoms united and ready to fight? When was the last time the Stigbots of Nigeria had used the Enchanters of War? You're completely helpless. And I myself have reclaimed the alliance with the monsters of Melagron. King Armagon is eager to rule Nigeria just like 104 years ago. And there's nothing you can do about it, even if you tried. Then I will do whatever it takes to stop you and King Armagon. You know I do not wish to kill you, brother. But if you refuse to surrender... Come on, hop on, hurry! <sighs> Fly back to King Armagon. Tell him the invasion on Nigeria begins now! For a moment, I feared the Nebula Knights for be our enemies, but I must thank you for saving us both. May I have your name? My name is Heather, and I'm the first Stickbot Queen of the Nebula Knights. I'm glad we have a common enemy, Queen Heather. Is he alright? Ben? 
What the heck happened back there? We could discuss that later. Right now we have bigger problems at hand. My brother had teamed up with the monsters on Melagron again. And now another invasion is going to be happening soon. We have to think of something fast. <sighs> You're alright. Yeah, pretty much. What happened? Uh, you don't remember? The dead ruler had knocked you out. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, we have to split up. I'll go ahead and bring my group and we'll try to find Armagon and the Death Wielder. You guys stay here along with the rest and try to evacuate as many stigmas as you can that lives here. Alright you guys, so this is what we're gonna do. Strike, Caleb, Nuberus, y'all will go to the bed and evacuate as many stigmas as you can. Ben and I can retrieve the stigmas at the doorway and evacuate them right there. Now let's move! <laughs> hey Scarlet, do you remember when we were kids and we would always just sit down here and just watch a bunch of stick bus walk away? Oh yeah, I remember that. And we always just freak out a bunch of stick bus thinking that we were stalking them. Yeah, we did get in some trouble with our parents. Ah, good memories. It's hard to believe what we're doing, Ben. Yeah, I know Scarlet. But I think you and I are where we should be. We're making a huge difference in our lives. Anyway, Scarlet, we're done with the evacuation. You want to go meet with the others? Uh, sure. What the? What is that? Is that TNT? <gasps> oh my butt! It is! Get back! Are you alright? Yeah, I think. Another one! Get out of the way! Ben! <laughs> wow, so it's true. There is another Kaltara out in the world. Well, it's a shame that the last Kaltara of the Kaltara clan has to die right here, right now. Who knew? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Guys, are y'all alright? Yeah, we're fine. What about y'all? We're okay. Argren, do it now. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, Death Ruler. So you say it's time to start the invasion of Nigeria? Brilliant. We'll get started right now. Not if I can help it. Well, well, if it isn't the legendary Free Ruler, we meet again. I assume you remember our previous fight? Painfully. Well, I'm ready this time. <laughs> That's what they all say. We're all ready. Who's all? You mean your friends down there? Wait, how did you know? Guys! <laughs> Kill him! Young, foolish, overconfident in himself, just like a lost stick box. Stop. 
stop hiding behind your monsters. Face me, Armagon. <laughs> you are persistent, but your bravery will not save you. You know what to do, Dalgars. I don't want to fight you, brother. I just want to fight Armagon. You're gonna have to go through me to get to him. <sighs> Armagon! So, the rumors are true. There is a stick by Queen Nebula Knight. Turns out the Nebula Knights have returned after all. Finally, at long last, you'll be able to die with great honor, like with me. Kill her! What? Just face it, Kaljar. Master Selvako was a fool to raise a spell. If it weren't for him raising a spell, none of this carnage would have ever happened. It was a huge mistake for him raising this. It was a huge mistake for you to be alive. And it was also a mistake for Master Selvako to ever be alive. You killed Master Selvako. You were granted for the rest of your life. And now you're saying you wish that he was never alive? Think so! You'll pay for this! You'll suffer! Argrin! <laughs> you will pay for everything you've done, Argrin. Oh, I don't think so. Your friends will die alone. Then it's your turn. He's never alone. So, you want to end up in the same fate just like your father? So be it. <laughs> Remember us? It's over, Argren. Not yet. Ben! Yeah! I gotta be honest. I thought y'all were better fighters for being called the Defenders of Nigeria, but y'all are dying just like any stick bot. What a shame. No! Caleb, you made it! And just in time, too. You killed my brother. You killed Ben's father. You killed so many of our loved ones. For them, they will have justice. We'll see, boy. Pitiful. You will go down with the rest of your friends. Wow, you did it, Caleb? What the? Good thing I was able to save you in time. Tommy? Ben? Tommy! It's so good to see you again. It's good to see you too, Ben. So, what are you doing here? Well, I saved the Clickbot Kingdom, and now I think I'm officially now the new leader of the Clickbots. Krogan's defeated, and now Clickbots can live in peace again. Very nice. Very, very nice. Would you like to join the Defenders of Nigeria? Hm, most certainly. <gasps> hey, it's Tommy! <laughs> hey, Caleb and Nuberus. I didn't think I'd ever see y'all again. But I'm glad we're able to. Wait, you guys know this clickbot? Indeed we do. Scarlet, this is Tommy. 
Adami, this is the leader of the Defenders of Nigeria, also known as the Captain, Scarlet Sidera. It's a pleasure to meet you, Captain Scarlet. I would like to join the Defenders of Nigeria. Well, I guess I can hardly afford to turn away help, and I must thank you for saving my life. Of course, that's what heroes do. Now, we got up. Galjar! Our priority is to protect the citizens. Evacuate everyone you can out of here. On it. Cyber, I thought you were at Chronophidia. No time for questions. Come on, I need to get you out of here. What the heck happened here? We were ambushed by a lot of zombies, and the Dead Master was controlling them, along with Melissa. They came out of nowhere and they killed so many stick bots, but he hasn't succeeded yet. Good. At least I'll prevent these evil demons from attacking the other kingdoms. <laughs> uh, Cyber? My queen, you have to get out of here. Run. Get as far away from here as possible. Ah, uh, Captain Cyber. You must realize that you are defeated. What a shame you must feel to allow your kingdom to fall so terribly. What did you call us? Evil demons? As long as I stand, so will the kingdoms, dead master! I'm so glad you see it that way. You're just as courageous as your dead soldiers. But soon you will join them! <laughs> this is not a battle you can win, Cyber. He's not alone. This won't make us even, Lucas. Can we fight later? Right now we got bigger problems at hand. Yeah. <laughs> Melissa, please listen. I know you're in there still. Please, just fight. You can walk away. Nigerian. Yes, I am. My name is Zorn Anaris. You... You're an Anaris? But I thought the dead builder died. Are you still doing his bidding? I did. A long time ago. I was young in the Great Stickball War, and I watched as King Armandon ruled hundreds of monsters. And since then, I found out about zombies, and I became obsessed with power and mind control. I went rogue with the Anaris clan, and spent my entire life learning how to mind control zombies. And here I am now. Now I am the Dead Master. And I have spent my entire life training to protect the kingdoms from monsters like yourself. And still I stand! Wait, Melissa, please listen to me. I should have told you this earlier, but I couldn't. Melissa, you should have never tried to take down the dead master yourself. What happened? No time to explain. We have to help Cyber. He could be in trouble. Look around you. Look at this kingdom. 
You see all this? You have failed your duty of captain. You have also failed your duty of being the protector of the kingdoms. You are nothing but a failure. You are no longer standing, and the kingdoms will fall. Cyber! There they are! Oh no. You're all gonna die. Dead Master! All right, bring it on. Yeah. Y'all are nothing. Yeah. Wait, Mom, Cyber, no, don't do this! Goodbye, Melissa. We love you. Don't ever forget us. No! No! <laughs> Melissa, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Do we win? We did. <laughs> Cyber, are you alright? Melissa, is that you? Yes, yes, it's me. I'm here. Melissa, I'm so sorry for how horrible I've been ever since you were first adopted. The truth is, <laughs> I always loved you as a little sister. Just like I like as much as Lucas being a good friend and a good assistant. But now, it's too late for me. I failed. The same shame I feel as I let the kingdoms down, putting both of you down, and my family. No, don't say those things. You never let me down, ever. I'm sorry, Melissa. But now it's your turn to be the captain, to be the, the hero. Go, save them. Don't let me down. No. <laughs> He's still alive. <laughs> Those looks on your faces. You can't imagine how satisfying it is. <laughs> The captain, also your older brother, Cyber, is dead, and yet I'm still alive. Your family's ideas of killing me are terrible. Both of you are horrible at doing this. Y'all were never able to beat me. <laughs> you can't do it even if you tried. <laughs> After all this time, Dead Master, you never learned the true meaning of the undead. They can't be controlled. They can only be guided. Wait, what? No, no, no! <laughs> Armagon! You're going to pay! Nice shooting stripe. Hello? Anyone in here? Is that help? What the? I think I recognize that voice. Is that Master T-Man? Yes, it's me. I'm Master T-Man. There are so many stick rats here being held prisoners. We need to get out of here now. Um, okay. No need to panic, Master T-Man. Um, Ben, use the earth enchanter in your shield to break the cell open. I'm on it.
Oh my god, Stigbots, we're finally free after all this time. Now let's get out of here. Ben? Ah, uh, do I know you? No, you were only a baby. But a mother never forgets. <gasps> Wait, you're saying you're... you're my... mom? That's right, Ben Kaltara, my youngest son. <gasps> oh my... mom! I didn't think I'd ever see you again. Well, I'm here, Ben. I hate to break up the reunion, you two, but we gotta help the others. She's right, Mom. Come on, let's go! Yeah. Get out. Real Nebulites couldn't even beat me. You're nothing, girl. You send your friends away to evacuate as many stick bots as they can. Not a smart move. Now you're all that's left. Kaljar! What? Impossible! I don't believe this. <laughs> it's gonna be alright, Melissa. You haven't lost everyone. You're never alone. <gasps> Get down! <laughs> No, it's begun! <laughs> wow! I'm impressed! I have delivered on my promise, Armagon. I only ask that you honor yours. You are right. Nigeria is for me to control now. I finally ruled it. But bad news have reached my ears that Stuart Kaltara is still alive, even after you assured me that your clan had him under control. And now, since the Nebula Knights are gone, there's now a stick by version of Nebula Knights taking their place. We have to deal with them now. Then maybe I can help you with your enchanters. Everything you know about the world is going to change now. Towns and roads will no longer be safe for travel. Many of our enemies will not falter. And so many of our friends will not survive. Now, we are all the defenders of Nigeria. As we fight this second great stigma war. We're gonna have to recruit quickly. We will have to find anyone that is willing to fight. Even if it means saving them from the hands of the enemy. I'll try to gather as many Nigerians as I can before the monsters of Melagron can attack them. If we can get the Kingdom of Clickbots on our side, then you'll see what real strength looks like. Oh yes, I've been itching for an epic battle. I'm ready to have some serious fun. You can count on the Nebula Nice to be at your side. Many years ago, I used this random tripod device. 
and it helped me call and summon many allies far, far away. I think if we use it, then maybe it'll help us. Then go, Freeloader. Go use this tripod device of yours. The second great stickbot war has finally begun. Mom, I need you to go somewhere safe and to get away from all this mayhem. Alright then, be safe, Ben. Winter has been following us all this time. I don't trust her one bit after what she and Selena did back at the kingdoms. She won't attack us all at once. Just stick together. <laughs> yes! That's the tripod device? Yep. Oh no! We should kill her. You can't kill her. She's one of us. She turned against us and attacked kingdoms full of innocent people. They're right, Aiden. She needs to pay for what she's done. And she knows it. Wait! We didn't ask to be Nebula Knights, Heather. And yet, here we are now. Winter didn't ask to be raised and abused by Selena. We just said we needed help, and now we're gonna kill one of the only two dragons out there alive. I'll take her, and train her how she should have been. We'll give the device time. I can't believe you're still alive, Dad, after all these agonizing months. It's just good to see you again. It's good to see you too, son. It's good to see you all. Caleb and Scarlet? Yeah, it's amazing to see you too. Yeah, we all thought you died. I never died to see you again. Caljar!
well, defenders of Nigeria, y'all are full of pleasant surprises. Allow us to give you one more.